everyone's talking about Apple's Vision Pro. Whether you're brand new and don't know where to start, or you're a developer looking to explore Vision OS, you've reached the right place. So let's learn together and let's get spatial. Apple just released Vision OS. Now we can use Xcode Beta and Reality Composer Pro to start creating apps for the Vision Pro. So let's dive in. First, you're going to click on Learn More. That's going to take you to this site, developers.apple.com slash vision OS. If you're not a developer, you can simply go to this website. And here, it's very comprehensive, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. But first, well, let's get set up. We're going to click on Download SDK. Now, you need to just simply log in with your Apple account. If you don't have one, go ahead and create yours now. I do have one, so I'm going to log in. And you can drop this down. And now you definitely want to select right here, Vision OS. You can see it's going to be 16.95 gigabytes. And then you can go ahead and click on Download. Now you can see it's downloading a bunch of things to my downloads folder. Here you can see all my files have now downloaded. You can see you're gonna have four files. The one you want to actually unzip is this one. You can go ahead and double click on that. And while this is actually unzipping, let's go ahead and check our Mac. If you have Ventura 13.1, you will need to update to at least 13.4 if you need to do that you can simply do software update let's see if I can get an update and you can see there's a 13.4.1 and if I restart I can actually go ahead and update that so now you have Xcode beta here and you simply can run it and it will install the other simulators that we need so if I open up that I'm gonna click agree go ahead and put in your password Click OK. And again, here, you want to make sure you select Vision OS. You can see over here, it's installing the iOS simulator. And then it's also going to install the Vision OS simulator. That's going to allow us to actually, without a device, create spatial apps and actually test it to see how it would actually work once we were able to get those devices next year sometime. So now you can see it has installed my iOS simulator and most importantly, our Vision OS simulator it would allow us to see what our apps would look like inside of the Vision Pro. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Now, for my Reality Composer Pro people, if you want access to Reality Composer Pro, very, very simple. You can simply, with Xcode, you can click up here on Xcode, click on Open Developer Tools, and you can see right here, now you have Reality Composer Pro. So I'm gonna show you that way. You also can create an Xcode project. I will show you that way. So let's just open up Reality Composer Pro. Let's say you don't wanna dive into Xcode just yet. You can see here we go, I have it open. I can create a new project and I'll save it. Let's just say example project and I can save it in my documents, that's fine. And you can see now I have, even though Xcode's in the background, I have a Reality Composer Pro project. You can see here's what you can create inside a Reality Composer Pro, your whole interactive three assets that you can use inside of Vision Pro. So you can design all your 3D environments right inside of here, and it integrates with Fcode, really, really simple. All right, so let's do it from Xcode. So from Xcode, I could create a new project. And here, we're going to do Vision OS. I create an app. I'll press Next. So example, Vision OS project by team. And for organization identifier, I'm going to do com. 
it's backwards compatible so your website you can put anything there but it's just a unique identifier for your app and here are how you want your initial scene to show up do you want it to be a window or volume later on we'll talk about that I also will show you some resources on Apple where you can understand what these two things are and do you want your space to first be mixed progressive full or none so here as we're creating a project for the initial scene we have window or value let's come back to discover vision OS so we can see what these two things are you can see down here a spectrum of immersion here are what we're looking at windows and volumes you can create one or more windows in your vision OS app they're built with Swift UI and contain traditional views and controls and you can add depth to your experience by adding 3d content so you can see here that's what a window is volume if I selected volume here add depth to your app with a 3d volume volumes are Swift UI scenes that can showcase 3d content using reality kit or unity creating experiences that are viewable from any angle in a shared space or an apps full space so if you look here at the pictures for initial scene do you want it to be a flat kind of like a menu where they can select something and then you go into the immersive space or do you want it to have volume where it will be 3d content that they can interact with okay let's talk about immersive space we have mixed progressive and full and you can see here is the developer documentation the mixed style blends your content with pass-through this enables you to place virtual objects in the person's surroundings so mixed is like having an augmented reality experience. Next, we got progressive. Progressive style completely replaces pass-through in a portion of the display. You might use this style to keep people grounded in the real world while displaying a view in another world. And then lastly, let's just look at full. The full style display only your content with pass-through turned off. So that's more like a completely VR experience. So these are your options that you can create. All right, so I'll do window, none, demo, project, or let's do mixed actually. So I'll do window mixed and I'll press next and I will go ahead and create that. You can see it's generating a preview. This will be a home that you will be able to move around and see your window. Remember I selected a window, so you're gonna see the glass material. And it'll say, hello world. And you can see here is, this is my window app set up for me. I have a sideboard that can have items, content. There it says, hello world. You can see it has the spear inside of it. Let's get to Reality Composer Pro from inside of Xcode. What you're gonna need to do is drop down this Reality Kit content right here. You can see this is your Reality Composer Pro logo. So I'm gonna click on that. It opens it up here. Now, if I want to edit this 3D object, I simply right here, can click on open in reality composer pro i'm going to go ahead and do that and here you have reality composer pro i can modify this so i want to group these guys so you can do command g or if you select both of these and you right click and do g you will group them and let's rename it spheres so we can just stay there now I'm going to duplicate these as well so I can right click and select duplicate and I'll simply drag them above now I'm going to select all four and command D on your keyboard I just duplicated it you can see now I have eight spheres so with that I'm going to go ahead and just do save all and I will switch to Xcode and you can see I'm back here if I go back to my content view it looks like there's only one going that way if I go to my immersive view 
you can see here I have all four of my spears that I made. All right, so let's try to create, I'm gonna close this Composer Pro and I'm also gonna close this Xcode. Let's do another project. So I'm gonna do new project. Again, leave it Vision OS. I'm gonna create an app and let's do a volume so you can see not a window, but a volume project, default project. And let's do full. So I'm gonna do volume full demo project and then I will go ahead and press next and create it and you can see now this is a volume project it doesn't have the flat window it has the 3d object or environment that you create that you can create in reality composer pro and it has interactions with that so here I can click on this and you can see it enlarges it. When I make it smaller, I also can click on this and you can see I can update and play with these tools. And this is pretty cool. Let's go into our immersive view. You can see it's up there. There's a little scroll right here. I drop this down let's click on you can see I've been playing with these are actually other apps that I've created just to play around with this prior to creating this demo but they don't have any icons and I will show you how to create your icons and those type of things in future videos but for now you can just kind of see how this will kind of be and this is like when your eye is looking at this, see how it raises? That's the effect. Obviously I'm doing it with my mouse, but that's the thing. These compatible apps don't do it. It's just kind of highlights. It's still flat, but like these guys up here, you can see they separate. So that's kind of cool. And again, if I wanted to modify this, down here, I simply would drop down and click on package. Right here, open in Reality Composer Pro. I have my two, let's say I only wanted one. So I'm just gonna get rid of that guy, delete him. And this one, so here you could play around with this. You can see over here as well, you can modify some things. So let's say I wanted to make this two by two make it more flat, right? So you can see that and then let's just save it all. And we will go back over into our here. Now it looks flatter. I don't have two spears. And if I go into my immersive view, you can see it's flatter. So this has been the tutorial on how to get you up and started downloading Xcode and using Reality Composer Pro, brand new, just released a couple hours ago. To wrap up, let's talk about where you can go from here. So on the same page, developer.apple.com, Vision OS, everything you need is actually right here. You can see, you can scroll down. And right here, it says your Vision OS journey begins here. Plan for Vision OS, learn about Vision OS, and work with Apple. Now this is gonna be super cool in July. I have a couple different apps that I've already created. I can actually start to convert them for the Vision Pro. And in July, look at this, 10 days from now, you will be able to hopefully July 1, but sometime in July, you'll be able to work with Apple to make sure that your app is compatible for the Vision Pro six months out before it's ready. Definitely, definitely, definitely use this. Um, what else do we have here? Plan for Vision OS is great. You can see whether you already have an app on the App Store or if it's your first time developing, 
there's a lot that you need to kind of understand. So definitely read through this part. So if you see here, explore the possibilities, where to start. I already walked you through this, downloading Xcode, getting it up. I will dive more into Swift UI. Definitely you can read through some of these things. Pretty straightforward. Um, and last but definitely not least, learn about Vision OS. This is from WWDC, which I was at two weeks ago. They had a bunch of great sessions and now all the sessions are up. So you can see if you scroll down, get started with Vision OS, building apps for spatial computing, principles of spatial design. These are all relatively short. I think most of them are around 18 minutes. Some of them are about 32 minute sessions. Um, for their longer ones, but you can see, develop your first immersive app. Now that you have Xcode and Reality Composer Pro, you could follow along with this video. Let's just look at it. And this one you can see is 30 minutes. It's gonna show you how to create an Xcode project, the simulator, Xcode previews, Reality Composer Pro, create immersive scene, target gestures. I kind of went through some of this stuff super fast, but now you can actually go through and watch what we learned at WWDC. If you want to talk about Reality Composer Pro, my 3D artists that necessarily don't want to do the code, but do want to mess around with Reality Composer Pro, you can also come down and you can see right here, meet Reality Composer Pro. Here's a session, explore materials, work with Reality Composer Pro and Xcode. So it shows you how to create this um, I think this is one of the national parks. Um, I'll, I think it's like 18 minutes. Uh, yeah, 20 minutes. So again, it shows you how to set up your project, Reality Composer Pro, computing scenes, particles. You make clouds, um, then you add birds, and then you have the birds with sounds, and then it shows you statistics so you can analyze your project and see how to lower the polygons to make sure that it runs really smoothly on the thing, on device preview and a wrap up. So again, I've gotten you started. This is going to be your great resource for you to kind of explore on your own. I'm planning to create a video series for both creating apps on Xcode and Reality Composer Pro. For now, you can explore on your own. Happy computing.